What's up? We're on episode three. Episode three. Of Showtime with Sharky and Josh, the premiere YouTube experience of Cinepunks brought to you by director Paul Sharkey. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the, the, uh, dude, the appreciation's title. on this side of the car, brother. <laughs> so, so what was the movie we watched tonight? A gnat. One, two, three, four. I just met someone. She looked at me and smiled. What I see in her is obvious. What she sees in me, it's a little more puzzling. How did the show go? I killed them for your gig. I saved them. Mm -hmm. You are now kindly requested to keep silent. Please take a deep last breath right now. The truth is, I'm sick. Being in love makes me sick. Ready? May we start? May we start? watched Annette by Leo's Carax starring yes. Adam Driver, Marion Cotillard, and a bunch of other people that, yeah. yeah the Sparks Brothers. It was a musical written by the Sparks Brothers over two decades of work. Insane. And this is your first Leo's Carax experience. This is my first Leo movie, yes. Okay, so let's start with that. Tell me what this movie's about. Give me a brief rundown. Uh, this, is a, this is a fucking monster movie. Oh, yeah. It's um, horrific. It's a monster movie with some levity. Okay. Levity moments. But levity is only to make the fall further. That much brutaler. All right. So, yeah. like. So, tell me the narrative. What's the story? What's, what's so the story? The, the, it's a love story to begin with, right? Uh -huh. And, yeah. like, in that love story, right out the gate, you kind of know that Adam Driver's character is mm -hmm. the monster. Yeah. Right? Asshole. It's already looming, yeah. like, in his. Mm -hmm. In his stand-up routine, in his he's he's like a self-hatred, but also yeah. hatred of the of the audience, and you know that's a that's that's a thing, right? But yeah. like, there's something that was said recently that like, I think Liam said it what, from what Cinepunks. That? What, what that, did Liam like, say? Like, the guy you says tell so us, much. you tell us you're a monster for so long, and we don't believe you. Like maybe we should just start believing you. And I think it was Liam. Mm. Hopefully, I'm giving the right person credit. Nope. Yep. That sounds and, like something uh, that kind of resonated. Okay. That's the beginning. So it starts out as a love story between Adam yeah. Driver and Marion Cotillard. Right. They have a relationship. And then <laughs> they have a child. And that's where it goes crazy. And that's where it goes. That's where it goes off crazy. the rails. I think it was going crazy before then, though. OK. Right. All right. The, the, the tension was there and she was aware of there being a problem. Uh, yeah. Specifically in that one scene where we actually get to see her perform. That's brutal. Like, it is brutal. It yeah. is. And it is definitely like, I think one of the lines is, I'm afraid. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't pick up on that, but I'm, right. I hear I it believe now. that was before yeah. the child was born. Okay. All right. And then what happens? And what, what, what goes on? Well, Adam Driver's character, uh, his career starts to suffer. Right. Mm -hmm. he, he ends up kind of being a stay at home figure to a degree to the kid to net the child um and his comedy and performance starts suffers and, yeah and he uh, starts he stops commanding the attention that he once enjoyed yes. as the ape of god yeah the ape of god it's a pretty right. cool name which pretty is cool name that's a hard name it's a hard name yeah it's <laughs> fucking tough but all the while marion cotillard's career is on a trajectory like and she's getting totally more popular and famous yes. right so okay okay and he has resentment early in the relationship, actually, um, where she dies a thousand times to bow and bow and bow. 
So good. Right? So he has a resentment yeah. towards her success. Yeah. Um, and Ford you can see dying. it on his face. Adam Driver's performance in this is beyond, like... Deserving of a standing with, ovation, I with, think. Without a doubt. Yeah. Okay. His, his, right. uh, both of their performances, I'm not, I'm not demeaning anyone's one performance in this film. Mm -hmm. Everybody was great. Um, but him, especially when he did that last stand-up routine in Las Vegas. Oh, what a gut-wrenching scene. It's brutal. It's, he plays the star in decline so well. Yes. It's yes. untenable. It's brutal. Yeah. Like, that's the final transformation of the monster. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Right? Which I would agree. was there all along. Which and is everyone just in, growing the whole, the whole movie's time. telling you it's there. Yeah, you're up right. Up to that point. The ominousness yes. in the entire movie, it's overcast for the whole movie. Not weather-wise. No. It's the shadow of it is there. Yes. So then what happens? What's what's our thing? Like he goes and he ends up murdering, murdering Marion oh, really? Cotillard. Yes. And then he starts and then he murders the nerd from Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Which right. Is, um, which. I'm not going to give him a pass either. Yeah. Right. I'm He's gonna, not a good, good guy either. No. Also a monster. I think it's funny that his his role in the movie is just the composer. He doesn't even have a name sure. in the movie. No. Which is, well, at first, what is his? What do they call him at first? Uh, the accompanist. The accompanist. Yeah. yeah. So right, a like, on purpose, like type of thing. So he ends up like murdering a bunch of people, but when Annette gets murdered, she delivers a curse. She does. And she says, yes. she says right, that, that she will haunt him for the rest of his days. Right. Through the voice of the daughter. Yes. Fuck. Right. What is the Shit. daughter, though? Dude, I have no idea. The daughter is a marionette. It's so when, wild. And, but even before um, uh, she dies. Mm. Um, it's a puppet. And it's, it's a puppet. Yeah. What do you think? Which do you is think important. that that's like a meta thing? Do you think it's like... I think it is only because there's a transformation that takes place in the movie mm. that makes me think that yeah. and that transformation also is like the freeing of Annette mm. Her, like, so I do believe there's some very yeah. overt like symbolism in this um, I don't know I don't know his other movies to know if he does that a lot but like I think he was obvious on purpose mm. but it didn't make it unartful right right and that's the thing right like there's a bunch of obvious stuff like so the a company is composer. Yes, back to him. Yep. He doesn't even act. He's just saying what he's doing throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Literally, I'm playing music. Yeah. I'm playing a company for Anne. I'm doing this. And he's like, now I'm conducting. And while he's conducting and giving his speech, he's like, hold on for a minute. And he goes into those big sweeping motions with the music. And then when it comes back, that's when he starts talking again. And it's just a narration. Yes. So cool. Like, it's weird. It's you also so just made me think something that uh, our fellow Cinepunk, uh, Adriana, said. Mm -hmm. You, yeah. If you want to explain what Go she ahead. said about Mandy. She was, so when Mandy came out, me and Liam were psyched on it. We were stoked. And then she was like, eh, I'm not really worried about another movie where a man has to die for, or a woman has to die for a man to have purpose. Right. And sh it totally shitted on our whole love of that movie, which I still love. I'm not going to lie to you. But yeah, no, also, it's, a, it's a very good It's movie, a tarnishing but... point. It is. It's very silly. And it should be. It should be something that is also taken into consideration in today's film world. You're right. That being said, who was the composer? Uh, I don't know what his he's name. He's totally. Is. He's the dude that, from that character. Yeah. He's totally the guy who has no purpose in life without that woman, and yes. his major transformation in role comes when she dies. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you're right. He's he does that even, monster. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. It's brutal. Yeah. The accompanist. Yes. It makes so much more sense. The, the, like, the back burner. The guy who thinks he deserves. Yeah. Ugh. So Equally good. a and monster. Then, and then there's a also question. Also exploits the daughter. But there's a question of whether or not he's the dad of the daughter and all that stuff, too. That happens. Oh, well, he was aware of that when he was being exploitative anyway. You're right. Right? Like, You're right. He, he, I mean, he's he's no he less... Always, he already had the cards in The hand. only thing that makes him less of a monster is he hadn't killed anybody yet. <laughs> right, 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 right. But he's still... Man. So then the movie finishes with 
Adam Driver goes to jail. He sure does. And Annette transforms from the marionette mm-hmm. to a real person. Sure does. And this is the final emancipation of Annette from her father. What do you think about that end? Uh, I was relieved that there was absolutely no forgiveness. And the movie is subversive enough to make you think that Adam Driver should have forgiveness. Some type of forgiveness, yeah. Um, and should have your sympathies, maybe empathies. Right. But he He's a does monster. not get yeah. that. He is a monster. So good. Yeah. It's so good. It's when the he, only way that movie could have ended. That ending yeah. was, I had, it had me in tears. When he's like, can't I love you? Yeah. She's like, no. And denied him multiple yeah. times. Whoa. And she's like a young kid. She yeah. was like a really little ass kid. Yeah, props to her. Like, Dude, that was fantastic. Devastating. This is up there in my movies that I am so stoked I saw this year. And yes. there have been nothing but straight fire <laughs> this year so far. I got to say, for this show, we've seen a lot of really good things so far. Yeah. So, um, and we're on episode three. Yeah. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? I mean, just but, 2021 in general. You're right. right. Like you're right. Summer it's of Soul. Been... We have Roadrunner. Oh, yeah. We have right. uh, the we Green have... Knight. We have the Sparks Brothers. Like... Sparks Brothers documentary. Yeah. We have. I mean, the, the Pig. Yeah. I mean, the, dude, it's, it's been amazing. bomb after. I'm not bomb, but like I mean, just five. amazing film after amazing film, and this is up there too. You count this as an amazing. Film oh, it's too. it's so, so up there. For so, me. what did you think about the film aspect, the making of it, the Leo's Correct's vision? Now, a couple things. We talked about the color palette. Yes. In all of his movies, he identifies with the character in green. So the green color, I feel, symbolizes his internal atmosphere at all times. Ooh. Adam Driver only wears green jackets in this oh movie. My. In the end, the prison cell is a green cell. Sure is. Um, the woods are green. The woods. She's afraid. Yeah. Dude, what do you think about that? Now that I know that that color palette has meaning for the director it kind of changes what i thought of what he was doing with color what did you think i just thought that the color like the color green was to be like an ominous color throughout okay. the movie um, it kind of still is though with that. it still is yeah, without yeah, a doubt yeah, yeah. but um it makes it more of a self-reflection not saying that the director is in any way a monster i have no idea who the man is mm. or anything about him other than he's made a great film right um right, right. but i have no problem with self-reflection and exaggeration in that reflection. Mm -hmm. Uh, One of the things that I took away from the film is when he's, they're playing with the substance abuse. And as somebody that that has experienced- Was was that a thing that was trailing? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Was it brutal to watch? I could feel an immense amount of guilt watching this film because of my experiences with alcoholism. Wow, no shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. That puts not that another... I've ever done anything yeah, like, crazy or not done anything, right? right? Like okay. I have my own guilt right. and, and things like that, but, but it made it very relatable in a way that was uncomfortable for me. Wow, uncomfortable. So yes. it just went right to the heart for you. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I wow. really love this movie. I like movies that try to tear me to pieces. So, so you're like the rest of us. You like movies that don't like you back. Yeah, no, I want, yeah. I want this to keep me up. That's how I like my movies. I feel like this is a movie that'll do that. I, I feel like the crowd was getting weird reactions, man. I did not like people yes. laughing. Like, there's nothing funny about the second half of this movie. Yeah. No, this movie is a straight tragedy. If anything, and horror. there is a musical sex scene in this movie, and no that, one laughed during that part. Yeah, no, right. Exactly. I was cracking up. I was like, yo, they're singing and boning. That's right, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. It's, <laughs> but oh, it was also a sweet thing. It was, that even wasn't like... It was weirdly honest, right? It was like, extremely honest. Yeah. That, that's probably the best word for it. It didn't feel like, it didn't a, feel like here's a your obligatory sex scene. Yeah. It's a love story. You're right. It, didn't, You're right. it didn't do that. It was more like, this is very intimate. And also, it, the, the weird thing about it is that the artifice is fully in view the whole time. It opens with yeah. a narration yeah. by Leo's Carax. It opens with him in the studio First of all, I didn't know Lewis Cracks had a hand tattoo. Second of all, he has Sparks in the studio at the beginning of the movie telling you exactly what's about to happen. And like, what's your relationship with musicals? Are you a musical guy? I'm not necessarily a musical guy and I'm not necessarily not a musical guy. I wouldn't say I'm a genre person, but there are Mm. things I tend to naturally just grab it stray towards. from. Oh, stray from. And musicals would usually be one of them. Okay. Um, because okay. usually, and I'm going to big up the actors again, I feel the awkwardness 
of, of the actors. Yeah. Because everybody's trying to perform in their in their roles. Dude. I did not feel awkward about them singing these so these pieces. Uh, they sounded amazing. They Adam Driver sounded that. amazing. Oh, didn't it's, it? it's amazing. And, oh, it was, and it was, fuck. It, it, there's something about it being their voices and just being natural, right? It wasn't refined. No. I mean, obviously the operatic part was very refined. Yeah. And Clearly absolutely she's beautiful. a train singer. Yeah. You know what I mean? She knows what she's doing, but it's also like not perfect. No. And it makes it so cool. And it makes it perfect. Yeah, it yeah. makes like it makes Adam it Driver in this. I think he was to me the most transformative. Like, yeah, just watching him go through both like the weird Lenny Bruce bits on stage and then just singing through the whole movie. Yeah, the tonal shifts in just that that beginning part yeah. of him are ridiculous. And just like the way he looks in the last scene, he looks yeah. he's got haggard, and it's like oh, yeah. total transformation. Oh my god, so good, so good. Wow. Yeah, also the red. Red is like his color of, from what I understand and just what I've gathered, I believe red is his color of purity. So as Adam Driver, by the end of it, starts moving like towards the net, you see the Portnoy stain on his face gets bigger. Yeah. And it's like, yo, that's, it's all in there. And yeah, like, I was, I was, I was like, is that thing getting bigger? Like, it, yeah. Mm -hmm. and also, also when man, he leaves the stage after the bomb yeah. and it's red, mm -hmm. right? Like, well, there's that. that was a very that was the monster's transformation. And if red is the color of purity and in this case, Honestly, who you really yeah. are. That's what it that's is. Who he really is. is. It's so good. And, and, and Marion Cotillard for the whole movie. She's wearing red. She's eating a red apple the whole movie. Is he in a red jumpsuit in, in prison? Yeah, he sure is. He is. He, he absolutely really is. is. Yeah. In the green room. It's so good. So good. I'm yeah. so happy that this got to be your first Leo's Carax experience. Yeah. And again, it's so bizarre that if it were any less bizarre, it would be way too weird. If they didn't take it to the yeah. limit that they took it to, with a marionette doll being the titular character. It was upsetting to look at it first. Oh my God, when they gave birth to it? I was like, what, what are we was doing that here? About? Yeah, I was like, yeah. dude, he's sitting on it? Like, oh my God. But I feel like for this movie, for the people that, for Sparks, the Sparks brothers, the male brothers, Yes. And for Leah's correct, for it to be any less weird than it was, it, it would have made no sense correct. at all. Yeah. But at the level that it's at, perfectly, perfectly imperfect. I loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Also, so. the way he chose to move the camera. What do you think about that? Yeah, you had mentioned. Oh, man. Like, is, you're just on a whirlwind of... It was the best execution of purposely being so fluid and then finding your shot and falling out of it mm. that it was just it was it was unbelievable i it, thought that the, the camera work was so fantastic what do you think about the scene when the camera was going around the conductor oh yeah no it, it, was, it's it's disorienting yeah and it, they do that a lot they did it, it a couple so times in there though. and it's very that scene in particular i thought was very effective it also while like he's narrating yeah it, it also like s floors the individual that it's focused on Right. Like, so like, like yeah. this is this person's, this is what it is. And like, he's just giving the rote. Yeah. This is what's happening. Fuck. What yeah. a movie. I can't say enough good things about this movie. Yeah. I'm, so I'm incredibly pleased. Your final, your final contention is that people should see this. People movie. should absolutely see this. I, I'm going to advise that we see it in a theater. Yeah. I think this is a, in a theater uh, yeah. movie. I mean, sound I'm sound system. Most, movie. most uh, specifically for the sound system. Yeah. Specifically for the sound system. And also, the visuals, everything about it, it's, it's a theater movie. This is it not is. something you, you, you it's stream. It's not a home movie. I mean, if, yeah. if, if, if that's your only option, by all means, right? See like, it. yeah. Please, please just see but it. But the experience, if you can experience this on a big, uh, on the biggest screen you can see it yeah. on, my suggestion is to see it that way because yeah. you will totally be edified for it. Yeah. So yeah. happy. This is, this was a, a perfect movie to go see. You're the shit shark. Ah, thank Episode you. Episode three. We did it. We did it. On the roof. On the roof. I gotta go to work. All right. <laughs>